I received the loveliest package from Griffey's. They're an independent art shop in Bloomington, Indiana, and I love supporting independent art shops because you can always find that they come from people and artists that started the store with a dream and with so much passion and nothing beats supporting that. So the owners at Griffey's have curated the loveliest high quality supplies and they asked me if I wanted to try some out. So they sent some polycolor pencils in really bright fun colors some of Holbein's acrylic gouache which I've never properly tried before because I use traditional gouache and they picked the most gorgeous colours that were very me and we're gonna have some fun trying these out and also a dot card of Daniel Smith's watercolour which I can't wait to try out because I hear so much good stuff about this watercolour I'm going to link their website and these products below so please go check out their gorgeous art supplies that they sell and give them a follow on social media as well so let me know in the comments below if you normally use traditional gouache or acrylic gouache. So traditional gouache is water-based and can be reactivated after it's dried, but acrylic gouache is a hybrid of traditional gouache and acrylic paint. So once it dries, it doesn't reactivate. And the finish is pretty similar, very matte and even overall. These colors are so gorgeous, they make me so happy. And I did use a regular white as well so I could lighten them. And I was swatching these trying to figure out what I could paint to be able to showcase all the colors together. And these color pencils were super pigmented and I just love the colors. I don't know if anyone else has the same problem, but I find sticking to limited palettes so hard because I just want to use all the bright colors together. So I find it so hard to limit myself and pick colors that work well in harmony. I just want all the bright colors. So to use all the colours, I decided that doing a bird would be perfect and I used a reference for the sketch but I changed up the colours of the feathers so I could use all the bright colours. Now one thing I absolutely love about traditional gouache is that it reactivates with water which makes it so forgiving and flexible, like I can blend on the page and it doesn't matter if it dries really quickly because I can add a touch of water to reactivate it again. And I think a lot of people don't like this about traditional gouache because it can take a bit of getting used to. So using acrylic gouache could be a really great way around this, especially for those initial layers that maybe you don't want to move. I was also really surprised at how pigmented this gouache was, even when diluted. So this first layer I approached like I do with regular gouache, making the paint quite thin. And you can see how bright the paint stays even when diluted with water, which was amazing. So I had to use a few extra colours for my painting to create darker colours to add depth and detail. So I did mix in some traditional gouache with the acrylic gouache and I noticed that when I did this it did help extend the drying time which I liked because I feel like the window of time for blending acrylic gouache is so short. Once it dries, it dries and then you can't blend it anymore, you just have to keep building on top of it. But there is a benefit to this because I did love the fact that I could build my layers and not worry about the layers underneath being reactivated. I feel like this is a huge benefit of acrylic gouache, especially if you work in layers like I do. So with this little bird, I just kept adding layers to add depth, so darker colours and then highlights to the feathers. And this painting didn't really require much blending because it was just adding the different feathers on top of each other. But it did really help me see how easy it was to layer the paint and not have to worry about the thinness or thickness of the layers below. Like you don't have to stick to the thick over thin rule that gouache has because once it dries, it doesn't reactivate, so you can feel free to build on top as much as you like. I do wonder though how I would do with this gouache and a piece that requires a lot more blending, like for example, my portraits that I do, my monochromatic portraits with gouache. I feel like I love the fact that the gouache is reworkable because it reactivates with water. And for something like my portraits, I really do rely on being able to modify and blend and rework. So I think I will try it out just to see how I do.
Anyway, I love how he turned out and I love that I was able to use all the colors I received and showcase them. So I was inspired with the animal slash creature theme and I wanted to keep exploring the colors and different combinations. So I did a butterfly and I really didn't have the colors planned out or anything. So I kind of went along as I started painting using the white to lighten the colors and do different variations. I used a reference to loosely guide this butterfly but I was making up the colours as I went along and for a while I was not really knowing where it was going, like it felt a bit too flat and childish. So you know that I like to talk a little bit about the thoughts I have while I'm creating and at this point I was thinking that the colour palette of the butterfly was turning out completely different to the bird so the spread wasn't looking very cohesive. But I had to remind myself I was experimenting and that not everything has to look beautiful and cohesive and I am someone that has to force myself to have that mindset because it doesn't come naturally to me. I guess it's that same old challenge of letting go of perfectionism which is honestly one of the biggest struggles that I have with my art um, and it's funny because I was actually going to even film myself doing this uh, particular spread and very last minute I decided to and I didn't want to film myself because I wanted to just play with no expectation and when I film I feel that pressure that I put on myself of like making something that looks really visually appealing but I really do want to show all aspects of the process and I want it to be as real as possible and that not everything always comes out perfect so I am really challenging myself with showing everything even with things that I'm still learning or not totally confident with. But I really love how she turned out. You can get so creative with butterflies, with the patterns and the colors. So that's why I love painting them. So I put out a suggestion box on my Instagram stories of things to include in this video and someone said a koi fish. So I thought that was perfect for where this spread was going. And I approached this in the same way as I did with the other illustrations, not really knowing what colours to use, but kind of playing around. Like I started with the blue, the really bright blue, but I did end up muting it a bit and making it a bit more purple. So then when I thought I had finished, I felt like it needed a bit more magic. So I started going in with more of the pastel colours, first the green. And I really like how this started to look because I feel like it started to make it more magical, more mystical, more of a kind of whimsical fish.
And then I was like, why not put in some more pink as well and kind of try and incorporate all the colors and a bit of light blue too. So that's what I ended up doing as well. And very subtly, but I feel like it gave it a much more um, illustrative palette. And then for this one, maybe because it was a bit lighter in color palette, I felt like it needed some outlines in the color pencil. So that's what I did. And I feel like it really brought everything together. It was very subtle, but it did help. And then of course I couldn't leave this one without some stars in the same color palette. So that's what I did. And I really love how it ended up looking. It felt really magical. And I kind of wanted to do a whole spread of these fish in these colors in this kind of pastel -y color palette. Let me know what your experience with acrylic gouache is like. I'd love to hear a bit more from other artists. I'm definitely going to be exploring it more and I already have my eye on some of the amazing colours they have on offer, so I'll keep you posted. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!